Could you talk a little bit about some of the challenges that um, educators might face and maybe address some of the, the things that they can do specifically to help uh, provide an environment that helps autistic children learn? Well, a lot of kids have problems with sensory oversensitivity. Some of these kids might be labeled autism, they might be labeled sensory processing disorder, ADHD, or some other label, loud sounds like the school bell, smoke alarm, just all the echoing noises in the gym or the cafeteria. These things are extremely variable, from just a nuisance to um, uh, you know, really debilitating. So you might let the kid wear headphones in the cafeteria to block out that sound, but don't let them wear them all the time because they'll make the ear more sensitive. Sometimes you can desensitize those problems if the child initiates the sound. One of the worst ones is microphone feedback. <coughs> so you'd give him the wireless mic, let him walk up to the speaker, goes, <coughs> and then he can back off, where he is controlling the amount of the stimulus. Another principle is, even though the child is not deaf and passes a hearing test, he may not be hearing auditory detail, so slow down when you talk. So if you say cup, say cup, uh, slow down, talk more slowly so that he can hear you. I remember a hugely frustrating experience I had when I was five in kindergarten. And we had a little workbook where I had to put down all the pictures that began with B as in beautiful. And I marked the suitcase picture for B as in bag. And they didn't give me time to explain that our house, they were called bags. Also, for, uh, to help desensitize, there's a great paper you can get online. It's called Environmental Enrichment is a, an Effective Treatment for Autism. And what you do in this is you carefully stimulate two different senses, like maybe smell and touch at the same time, and you constantly change these stimuli. And you can use regular household things. You may hit a $30 paywall when you look for this paper. It's worth it. Again, it's environmental enrichment is an effective treatment for autism. I want to make it very clear this does not replace other methods. It's an adjunct. If you've got a three-year-old that's not talking, the most important thing you can do is 20 hours a week of one-to-one -one intensive teaching with that child. The worst thing you can do is to do nothing.